awesome guys welcome back to another video on the feel sneak youtube channel and in today's video i'll be going through my custom round one fixture for 2023 now i know it is kind of early to be doing these videos considering the season is like three months away or something but from what i've seen this is quite a popular video at on the uh, on the tube at the moment so i thought may as well chip in with uh, my round one fixture as well so if you guys go on to enjoy today's video make sure to leave a like share and subscribe um also thank you so much for 350 subs um, yeah, it really, really means a lot, and I'm definitely on the track now for 400. Maybe aiming for 400 around uh, early round one, uh, but we'll see how we go. But thank you so much for 350, and hopefully we can get 400 again soon. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, uh, now is your time to do so. But anyways, without any other further ado, uh, yeah, let's get stuck in our... So before I go through the fixture, I must clarify, um, I'm no fixture expert. I don't know what goes on into making these fixtures. I've just come up with uh, my round one fixture. I've tried to make the games as even as possible and, you know, tried, tried to stick to the regular sort of structure of, you know, having four games on the Saturday and three games on the Sunday. Um, yeah, hope you enjoy it and let's get straight into it. So on the Thursday night, um, which I believe is the 16th of March, um, I believe this has already been confirmed, but apparently the AFL did not want to continue with the grand final rematches. The grand final uh, rematch will not be played uh, next year. Uh, it will be returned to the regular Thursday night game between Richmond and Carlton. Now, as we all know, uh, it's kind of a tradition for these two sides to play off in round one. Um, I'm hearing a lot of people saying they're kind of sick of seeing Richmond and Carlton all the time. But I think now is the right time for these two sides to be playing, considering they're sort of around the same part of the ladder now, that sort of, you know, four to eight category. Obviously, we saw in 2022 the Blues... Uh, they finally overcame that uh, hurdle of beating Richmond on the Thursday night. Yeah, I feel like this will be an absolute ripping game at the MCG. It's going to attract, it always attracts a pretty decent crowd. And uh, I think the Blues fans will be feeling a little bit confident after uh, knocking off Richmond uh, in 2022. But yeah, like I said, it's already been partly confirmed that this will be the first game of the, uh, the 2023 fixture. So yeah, no grand final rematches. Uh, will be played in 2023. It'll be Richmond and Carlton on the Thursday night to kick off season 2023. Now moving on to the Friday night clash, uh, which will also be played uh, at the MCG. I've got the reigning premiers, the Geelong Footy Club, coming up against Brisbane at the MCG at 7.10. Uh, PM Victorian time. Now, the reason why I've gone for uh, these two sides to play off on the Friday night um, is also for, is for a couple of reasons. Number one, I really want to see how far Brisbane have improved in terms of, you know, they obviously added Josh Dunkley, Jack Gunston, Will Ashcroft. We all know their additions are great, but I want to see how much uh, they've improved. And yeah, but I feel like this will be a pretty good game as well, considering the Lions did overcome their uh, MCG curse. Uh, last year beating Melbourne. Yeah, obviously Geelong, they just blew Brisbane out of the water last time these two played off in that prelim. I don't think that'll happen again. I think it'll be a lot closer. Um, I feel like Geelong, yeah, obviously being the reigning premiers, like I said, probably deserve a Friday night game. And uh, the Lions are contenders as well, so I think uh, they should play off on the Friday. But yeah, I've got Geelong taking on Brisbane at 7.10 at the MCG on the Friday night. The first of the Saturday games, I've got Gold Coast taking on Hawthorne at 1.40 at Metricon Stadium. Now, we obviously know the Suns, they showed massive improvement uh, in 2022. Uh, they won some big, big games, and they actually made Metricon Stadium a massive uh, fortress. There was actually really hard to beat Gold Coast uh, up there at Metricon. And the Hawks, well, they're sort of around the same spot as uh, Gold Coast. They're sort of in the middle of the table, but maybe closer towards the bottom than Gold Coast. Um, Hawthorne, they're obviously in a bit of a rebuild um, at the moment under Sam Mitchell. But I feel like this would be a pretty decent uh, round one match. Um, I think Gold Coast do deserve a, a home game in round one, considering uh, how good they were last year. And I feel like this would be a good test um, for where Gold Coast are at to see that they're not stagnating, they're actually improving. So yeah, I feel like that's a good way uh, to start off the Saturday games with a couple of middle range uh, sides in Gold Coast. 
But yeah, I've got Gold Coast taking on Hawthorne at 1.40 at Metricon Stadium to kick off the Saturday games. So now we move on to the second Saturday match, uh, the second of four. Uh, we move over to the Adelaide Oval to see the Crows take on the Saints at 3.30 uh, Victorian time at the Adelaide Oval. Now I feel like these two are gonna finish in a similar spot on the ladder uh, in 2023. Obviously the Saints under a new coach in uh, Ross Lyon and the Crows just starting to find their mojo again and starting to rise up the ladder ever so slightly. Um, so I feel like this will be another close game as well. Obviously the Crows, just like Gold Coast, um, they've made uh, Adelaide Oval a little bit of a fortress and uh, they're very hard to play uh, at the Adelaide Oval. Uh, the Crows, whereas the Saints, um, yeah, they're in a bit of a weird spot at the moment. They're kind of, uh, they're kind of the enigma of the AFL. They, you kind of just don't know where they're going to finish. Um, I feel like they will finish around the middle part of the ladder next year, uh, similar to Adelaide's. Um, I feel like this will be a very, very uh, close game as well. Uh, the Crows are obviously very hard to beat at the Adelaide Oval. The Saints' best footy is probably top eight worthy. Uh, but their worst footy is not great, I'm going to be honest. But yeah, I've got the Crows and the Saints playing off at the Adelaide Oval for the second game on the Saturday. Now moving on to the third Saturday game. Um, we move over now to Marvel Stadium to see the Dogs and the Ds at 7-10 at Marvel Stadium. Now, obviously, both these sides uh, did make the finals uh, last year. The Ds obviously went out in straight sets. The Dogs didn't even make it past week one. Obviously, this is kind of another rematch of the 2021 uh, grand final. And just like last year, uh, these two sides will be playing off uh, in round one. Um, this time, not on the Wednesday, but on the Saturday night. But yeah, we did see the Dogs actually get up over Melbourne at Marvel Stadium uh, last time uh, these two played uh, later in last season. This is the first time we get to see Max Gorn and Brody Grundy uh, playing together, so that'll be really exciting. Um, and the Dogs, uh, well, they get a chance here to kickstart uh, their 2023 fixture off in style. Obviously the dogs will be feeling confident. Uh, they play their best footy at Marvel, it's fair to say. And uh, yeah, they did beat the Ds uh, their uh, last season, uh, like I mentioned earlier. Uh, yeah, the third game on the Saturday, I've got the dogs and the Ds uh, playing off against each other at 7-10 at Marvel. Now moving on to the final Saturday game. Uh, we move back to the MCG for this one uh, to see uh, another finals uh, rematch um, from last season uh, it is Collingwood taking on Fremantle uh, at the MCG at 7.50pm, uh, uh, Victorian time that is. Like I said, I'm not really a fixturing expert. I'm not sure how the broadcasting is going to work uh, with two games being played at Melbourne in the same time. Uh, maybe this game gets played on 7 and the other game gets played on Fox. I don't know. I am not an expert. These two sides finished 4th and 5th respectively uh, on the ladder uh, last season. And they did obviously play off in the semis uh, last year where uh, Collingwood got the job done by 20 points. I could have had this game uh, in Perth to be fair, but I decided to give Collingwood the home game. Uh, in round one just because the Pies always draw a big crowd. So I feel like this could be a very even game as well. Obviously, uh, both teams' best footy is very, very good. Um, obviously, we get to see whether Collingwood can back up their season they had um, from last year. And the same with the Dockers, whether um, I've seen a lot of people saying the Dockers might even slide out of the eight uh, next year. And also, uh, we can't have a big team like Collingwood being played on the Sunday. That would just be ridiculous. Yeah, I've got Collingwood taking on Frio at the MCG um, for the last game on the Saturday. And now we move on to the Sunday matches. We've got three games on the Sunday, and I'll be honest, they're kind of the three most, the three least entertaining matches um, out of all of them. I think we've had all the entertaining matches uh, right now, and these are sort of the games where not really many people care about, unless you're a fan of one of these sides, obviously. But the first game on the Sunday is between the Giants and the Bombers at 1:10 at Giants Stadium. Now, we obviously saw these two sides um, play off uh, last season, and uh, the Giants actually got the job done uh, in this fixture last year. Both teams uh, finished around the same spot on the ladder. Uh, last year as well. The Bombers finished 15th, the Giants finished 16th. Uh, yeah, this is a good chance for the Bombers to sort of um, reconnect and regroup and get a good win here away from home. Um, and obviously the Giants, yeah, a lot of people are predicting them to have a struggling year 
um, including uh, myself. I think they won't really improve uh, next year, the Giants. So yeah, like I said, this is a big opportunity here for the Bombers to get a really good uh, away win here and really uh, prove themselves that maybe they can show a bit of that fight they did in 2021. But yeah, I feel like hopefully this will be a good game. Like I said, I've tried my absolute best to get uh, these games as even as possible and uh, hopefully uh, this game uh, will live up to that. Um, but yeah, I've got GWS taking on Essendon at 110 at Giants Stadium to kick off the Sunday match. So the second Sunday match is between North Melbourne and Port Adelaide, or as it is now, more widely known as the Horn Francis match, um, considering he did leave North Melbourne uh, after being the number one draft pick, and he's now at Port Adelaide. Um, obviously, that was the main reason why I had these two play off um, in the first place. Um, I was originally going to have North Melbourne and West Coast, and then Port Adelaide, and then Sydney, but I decided to make it more entertaining and uh, have the Horn Francis match in round one, similar to the uh, Trelaw match uh, in 2021 when the Pies and the Bulldogs played off. Uh, that will be at 4.20 at Marvel Stadium. I've given North the home game just to make it uh, a little bit more fair um, for them and to make it uh, not as widely in Port Adelaide's favour. And uh, yeah, this is a good opportunity for Port Adelaide to uh, really make a statement and uh, try and uh, get back to finals. Uh, in 2023. Uh, I feel like they have a good chance to do that, um, especially if they're playing North Melbourne in round one. Um, hopefully for them, that is a pretty decent win. Um, but yeah, I've got North Melbourne and Port Adelaide uh, at 420 at Marvel Stadium um, for the second Sunday match. And finally, we move on to the last game on the Sunday and the last game of the round and the video. Um, we move uh, over to Optus Stadium to see West Coast take on the runners-up um, of last year in the Swans. Now, it, it seems like a bit of a tradition. West Coast um, normally uh, play round one uh, in Perth. Um, I don't think they've played away from Perth uh, since like 2019. They often uh, play uh, their first game against an interstate side, the Eagles, and they often play it at home. Um, so why not um, give them a little bit of a test um, against the Swans, who obviously were the uh, the uh, the gallant runners up uh, last year um, against uh, Geelong. Uh, obviously, the Swans they will uh, want to recover and not uh, drop off like we've seen the Bulldogs and Adelaide and GWS and all those teams who have gotten smashed in a grand final to not recover the following year. The Swans will not want to do that, and I think they will want to prove themselves as still one of the contenders in 2023. So yeah, I've gone a little bit easier on them uh, by obviously they're not gonna be playing the grand final rematch. That's already partly confirmed. So I've gone a little bit easier on them uh, and made them play West Coast, although it is not at the SCG. It is at uh, Optus Stadium, which uh, could make things uh, a little bit more fair for West Coast. Um, but obviously we saw last time these two played uh, in 2022, the Swans absolutely steamrolled them. But yeah, hopefully, even though this game probably won't be a massive one uh, for the neutrals, uh, hopefully uh, this will still attract uh, an all right crowd, obviously in Perth. And uh, yeah, hopefully West Coast can put up a bit of a fight, obviously against the Ramford Swans. And uh, I think West Coast, uh, they'll want to prove themselves as maybe not a bottom four team, uh, next year, I think is that that's probably what West Coast should be aiming for. Hopefully, it's a close game like all the like most of the rest of these games. Hopefully, will be. But yeah, to wrap up our round one, uh, we have got West Coast and the Swans at Optus Stadium at 8:10 Victorian time, which will probably be about maybe 6:10 uh, Western Australian time at uh, Optus Stadium to finish uh, round one for 2020. There we go, guys. That was my custom uh, round one fixture for 2023. Um, remember, if you want, comment down below uh, your round one uh, fixture, if you've made one or you've thought of one off the top of your head. Uh, are your games similar to mine? Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Cheers!